So hello again, welcome to another demonstration. So in this practical demonstration, I will show you how to create dendrogram using the network D3 package. So before we create our dendrogram using the network D3 package, uh, I think it's important to understand what is a, a dendrogram. So a dendrogram is a diagram that basically shows the hierarchical relationship between various objects. So most commonly it's uh, created as an output of uh, a popular uh, technique called hierarchical clustering. Um, the main use of a dendrogram is to work out the best way to allocate objects to various clusters. To create a dendrogram using the network D3 package, we are going to use an exemplar dataset that's already embedded in the network D3 package, which is called US uh, Arrests. So, what this dataset is about? This dataset contains some statistics in Arrests per uh, 100,000 residents for assault, murder, rape in each of the 50 US states in 1973. So using this data, we will create a hierarchical clustering. So network D3 package can be greatly useful to create nice hierarchical clustering, that is the dendrograms. And uh, this is very easy. So what we're going to do first, we're just going to write, let's say, let's first assign the variable but before I do that let me just show you the data set that we're going to use so we'll just call data and it's called US arrests so this is our data set so we've got the data now uh, we might just view the data how does it look like so US arrests all right, so this is how the data looks like, as we can see. So these are the various crimes committed uh, per 100,000 residents uh, in the 50 states um, during 1973. So let's get back to the R script. And here we are going to uh, simply assign the variable. So we'll call the variable crime, and then we will write hc. Yes, that's hierarchical clustering. And then we will type dist. And then our data set, which is us uh, arrests. And we'll write pve. And now the data is here it's been assigned here now the next step is going to be fairly straightforward so all we have to do is just write dendro network and then our data set which is crime and then we can play with some parameters so height is how long or how large the uh, visualization is going to be so I will just write maybe 800 so there we go it just shows us a dendrogram of the hierarchical clustering uh, we can zoom the data set so we can zoom here's a nice visualization and it just shows the hierarchical clustering of all the so again this is a purely explorative analysis if you want to do a more specific analysis then we have different ways but this is purely just exploring the data look at the trends these are the various state names uh, we can definitely play with some other parameters as we have done before so node color let's say red and then opacity again obviously that will change so for better visualization we can definitely uh, tweak the data um, the visualization in the way we want to see it 
but this is just showing a nice hierarchical clustering. So if you have data where you would like to see the hierarchical relationship among the various clusters within your data set, using dendogram could be a best way to do that. And network D3 package will be super efficient in showing you the hierarchical clustering.